Hey, Alyssa. Hey, what's up? It's UM Admission. Are you ready to answer 22 rapid fire questions? Yeah, let's go. Bring it on. OK, let's get started. What's the best thing about the University of Miami campus? So the best thing for me is basically all the student events they put on for us. I'm really excited for the Rocky Horror Picture Show that's coming up in October. Last month, we had a Kane's Night Live. And one of my favorites is definitely Patio Jams on Thursday. What book have you read in school that positively shaped you? So my favorite book that I've read so far is um, Fast Food Nation. Basically talks about all the mysteries of the fast food industry that we really don't hear about and talks about the human labor rights that have been violated throughout um, the years. And you're a neuroscience major, right? Yep, I'm a neuroscience major, loud and proud. What's the hardest part about being a neuroscience student? So I would say the hardest part is basically the demanding course load. You might have to double up on some classes like physics and biochem, but it is a really interesting classes and you do get to make a lot of amazing friends throughout the years. What advice would you give incoming students? So I would always tell the incoming students to carry an umbrella because the weather in Miami is un unpredictable like today's. What are you listening to right now? So full disclosure and absolutely no shame, I'm currently listening to CNCO, which is a Spanish boy band, and they basically take me back to my One Direction days. What do you plan to do after graduation? Ooh, graduation makes me nervous. I am graduating in December, but right now I'm currently working with Topple so that they can help me basically decide what I want to do for my gap year, because I do plan on going to med school, but I'm taking that one year kind of just to get the applications ready and take the MCAT. I'm currently thinking about city year and AmeriCorps. What's studying at UM really like? So studying at UM is awesome, but it's also very challenging because everyone here is really ambitious and really get, does, is involved in a lot of things. So when you study here, you basically want to be the best you can be so you don't fall behind everyone else. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about life right now? Life right now, I'm at a 9. I docked down one point only because I don't know what the future holds, but I am really excited to find out what it has to offer. And what do you love on your pizza? OK, so you might judge me for this, but I am definitely a Hawaiian type of girl. I love my pineapple and my ham. Coffee or tea? Definitely coffee. It gives me that kick that I need throughout the day. And, you know, we did throw tea over the Boston Harbor, so coffee's the way to go. Where were you born? I am 305 Till I Die, was born in Baptist Hospital here in Miami, Florida, and I love my city. If you could sing a duet with anyone, who would it be? I would definitely sing my duet with Maluma, because that boy is fine, and I really do like his music, so <laughs> definitely him. Bird watching or whale watching? Definitely whale watching. I've never been whale watching before and I've always wanted to see a whale breach water. What's your favorite board game? My favorite board game is definitely Clue. I do like to watch Forensic Files, so whenever I play, I become a mini detective. What's your favorite country to visit? My favorite country to visit is definitely Spain. They have the best croissants I've ever had in my entire life in this little town called Salamanca, so I really want to go back. And what was the last photograph you took? The last photograph I took was of my dog. He actually got groomed yesterday. Here he is, my little boy Finn, a Yorkie Terrier mix. I'm a proud dog mom. Rolling Stones or The Beatles? Um, definitely The Beatles, only because I don't think I've really heard a Rolling Stones song before. Sorry. And what's the best way to de-stress? The best way to de-stress for me right now is basically having mini jam and dance parties in my car because I am a commuter. So when I sit through that Miami traffic, I just jam out to my favorite tunes. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Um, definitely talking to animals, because sometimes my dog does some things that I question, and I really want to know what's going on in his head. Can you share a college life hack with us? Life hack is basically find balance, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally, because you got to take care of yourself, because if you don't, who will? What's the weirdest word in the English language? Um, I think it's appropriate for today, too, the word moist. Makes, just the way you pronounce it, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It's just a weird word. All right, last question. What's your favorite study spot? So my favorite study spot is Einstein's by the law school because you get great bagels, there's a great view of the fountain, and there's some cute kitties that you can see and look at. And actually, that's where I'm heading right now. So see you guys later. See ya. Bye. Bye.